Grief is something that everybody has to experience at some point in time, but there are some ways to make things a little easier. Yeah, Riley Mack has the story of a love lost and found again in something very special. Pure white snow. It's beautiful. Marks a new beginning. Definitely. Such is the case for Sophia the duck. <laughs> On her third birthday, her uh, aunt and uncle decided to just drop off a couple ducks at our house. So we became um, animal people. <laughs> Lindsay Fleeser and her kids, Josie and Brayden, were surprised by new additions to the family. She was first given two ducks. They were best of friends. Sophia and Evie. They're pretty cute ducks. They were together all the time. But even more surprised by what came next. About two weeks ago, we only saw one for a couple days. So my husband went and checked in the woods and we saw a big pile of feathers. So we knew we had an issue. I'm thinking some sort of wildlife got to it. Just as it would for any human, grief came for Sophia. The first couple days after the duck was lost, she was really vocal. We could hear her constantly at night. So I don't know if that was crying or what that was. I mean, they were together for like four years, so I think they had a pretty close bond. It was a little sad and disheartening. That feeling couldn't last long. Sophia needed a companion for the season, or it would take her next. When the temperatures got really cold, we knew that she would not survive. Inspiring a bit of matchmaking. We posted on Facebook to see if there was anybody who would be willing to let us adopt their duck. Single female, loves long walks by the pond, bright orange feet. <laughs> the usual. <laughs> Sophia's were the only prints in the freshly fallen snow until a new path crossed her way in the form of the four webbed feet of Lucy and Goosey. We were able to find somebody that had two ducks. They originally had four and they lost two of them to wildlife. So they said, please come get them. Just as sure as snow in Michigan, a new beginning came for Sophia the duck. I think she's more happy. Um, I'm hoping there are, our new ones are a girl and a boy so they have baby ducks so we have more and more. Grand Haven's most eligible quacklerette found what she needed all along. You might get more, you never know. A flock. We're kind of a duck family. Of her own. Cue the waddling off into the sunset. You know, studies show that animals, all kinds, do grieve in different ways. Well, ducks too, apparently. Wow. Yeah, I, I mean, no penguins mate for life, but maybe ducks have... Uh, Similar need for companionship. You know, we need an app now to hook those animals up, right? Or maybe yeah. just a little love connection via human. <laughs> Swipe left. <laughs>